what sort of words of encouragement, what, what sort of advice can you pass on to people that may be tuning into this right now? First of all, if you're outside London, things look much better. It's not even half of the effect that we see in London, outside London. And that's because I think a lot of people who are in London are feeling quite stuck uh, in their tiny apartments and uh, looking for a bigger place. So uh, there's definitely a different kind of market, more the staycation, you know, nationals traveling inside the UK, uh, maybe who don't have a second home, but could afford to go somewhere else now that the lockdown, lockdown's being enforced. So look out for those. And then if you're looking more at the long term just consider the fact that everyone is in the same boat and below you are the hotels uh, that have got fixed leases that you know they can't do anything about number of staff etc uh, those are in much dire conditions and those are likely to actually close some of them permanently which means that when the man picks back up there's going to be a shortage of supply the same way that demand has sort of evaporated very quickly it will come back very quickly because as people stuck at home it's not good for relationships to be stuck 24 hours a day there's going to be a lot of divorces at the end of this i'm sure but jokes aside you know the, the industry of, of, of travel uh is is one that people as much as it's considered to be a leisure and an enjoyment it's also something that people need people need a break you know in one of those destinations that are easily accessible for people then you're likely to benefit if you can just pause your business for the next uh, three months or so and then re-emerge with you know everything to go out with a little bit of budget for marketing you're likely to benefit a lot from those bookings at that 